I would like to bring up Ale Manchufantu, which I think I might have pronounced that wrong. Sorry, Ale. Um, he is a good friend. We actually share a tech investor who we single-handedly or double-handedly converted into food. I think we're his only two food investments. So um, clearly doing something right. Ale, please take it from here. Right. Thank you, Lisa. That's uh, that's an honor uh, to be here. Yes, and yes, we share the same initial investors, Bradfield from uh, TechStars. Uh, and today I, I came to you to tell about uh, the next generation plant-based meat that we are making and selling to B2B customers. And I'm thrilled to announce that today we got our first sizable uh, purchase order. But uh, I will tell you later about this. First, let's uh, think, why are these customers lined up uh, hunting for our food? Next slide, please. Uh, we are uh, grateful uh, to Impossible, Beyond, and all those pioneers uh, who made a great job uh, educating co uh, consumers that plant-based meat can be really tasty and like meat. Uh, the only thing, they had to work with what uh, they had at hand, the isolated nutrients, and they used a lot of other uh, nutrients, like a glue, to fix them together. And uh, for some people, it creates the uh, backlash because of long uh, ingredient lists. For some others, like my co-founder and see the <laughs> grumpy face here, uh, their body rejects uh, such a long list of ingredients. Next slide. Uh, fermentation uh, uh, is seen... Uh, has seen uh, as the prominent uh, technology that allows to simplify and cut the ingredient list because uh, when you apply fermentation on top of the plant-based proteins you can uh, get rid of the uh, aftertaste and reduce on the bitter blockers maskers you can uh, tweak uh, the flavor and, and the color and reduce on the colorants and additional flavors you increase the protein and the protein quality and, the, uh, and functionality well a lot of benefits one downside, it takes several days uh, to ferment. And that means uh, you have to store uh, the, all that biomass uh, in the huge, huge uh, tanks that uh, results in uh, hundreds of millions uh, uh, capex that for sure re reflects uh, on the costs. And we, next slide please, uh, uh, hacked uh, this particular moment. We found the way how to uh, get the, these fermentation uh, effects on the fly. Our process takes minutes uh, versus uh, uh, days, and that means we don't need all those tanks. Uh, and this reduced uh, capex significantly uh, cut uh, the costs. We can uh, sell it uh, on par or with beef, uh, having a quarter of those costs. Next slide. And the meat we got uh, is the same meat as you used to. So it has its texture. It's actually whole cuts. Uh, it has its uh, flavor. It has its uh, protein typical for animal meat uh, and the protein quality. The only thing is cheaper. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, and uh, having this uh, low uh, uh, capex, you see that we need just uh, 1.5 million to launch a sizable 1,000 metric tons uh, facility. Uh, we can uh, selling uh, uh, on par with beef, having 75% uh, margins. And uh, we are doing that already to our uh, private labels, brands, uh, and uh, uh, you know, food service customers. Sl next slide, please. Uh, up to date, uh, we uh, tested uh, and scaled our te technology in July. In uh, August, September, uh, we were actively sampling uh, and got a very favorable feedback. We uh, sell our product, uh, our meats uh, in San Francisco restaurants and receive and repeated the purchases rest. and raising money for down payments. Amazing. I love that. Hacked fermentation, guys. You heard it here. This is the man who hacked fermentation for meat. So, so cool. Thank you so much for sharing. I'm sure you will get lots of questions. 